supports both the Dragonite as well as the Terra Blade really well, and it's an aggressive tempo hero. It's that same implication strat that we've seen before. Like, like when you have the Pugner in these dual laning, and oh, well, maybe there is something a little bit crazy here happening in the mid lane. Solo, he's uh -oh. got that right click damage, and a one, one and a two. There it is, baby. That's a courier down. And that's Ramses. Uh, that's been the big success for a lot of teams versus VP. You think about like a Ramsey CK or something like that, where he just gets a, uh, heavily pressured in the lane and has a harder time farming his way back. So what do you think about the safe lane Dragonite? Obviously, we see him in the mid lane uh, most prominently. Do you think the safe lane DK is just as viable? Uh, he's just like... He, he offers you a certain thing. You know, he gets six, he pushes a tower. He's there to do that for your whole team. But uh, he can just lane in any lane, so... Yeah, down bottom, we'll see Solo in some trouble. He's going to try to wiggle his way through the trees, but maybe tough to find a proper retreat path. Does sort of fake him out, but Nether Blast connects, and Yang will find the kill. First blood drawn for VGJ Thunder. Yeah, as we saw in the mid, though, Freeze did also almost go down. He's had to run his whole way back home. Now all the way up in the top lane, though. Uh -oh. That nice tanky dragon. He's not level 3 yet, so only still one point in the dragon blood. Yep, again, trying to move his way through the trees, but Roger's right there with a rip tide. A lot of damage on that level one spell. Follow up and snare on the DDC. The Disruptor Seven trying to make armor. it back to the tower, but Naga happy to dive this and tank it. It's a double kill for Roger, and they'll get away with TP out of the Disruptor, but it will get canceled. Still a victory for Virtus Pro. And down bottom, most of that pressure has been relieved. I mean, fades back down here now, but overall, Ramses is uh, relatively okay here, right? 13 and 7. Uh, as long as he's not forced to waveform, he's going to be fine. But nah, DDC is waiting to see if he will use that waveform aggressively, perhaps give him a chance to catch. But Solo is the easier target. Yeah, Stomp will start things off. The follow up Thunder Strike and the burst damage from Yang. Few more auto attacks to find the kill. It's going to be a close one, but the Lion survives. Oh, he he pops up. the salve, but no, it's Fade on the Elder Titan with a stray Astral Spirit to secure the kill. Nicely done by VGJ Thunder. Okay. But. Still has his TP, at the very least, so he wants to go top and create a kill threat here onto Siler. Not as easy once he has a couple points in that Dragon's Blood for just the two of them to bring him down, so with the help of Solo here... Well, and remember, Riptide has some minus armor attached to it, so Siler actually taking a lot of damage. Hex from the Lion as they dive this tower, Pasha healing them up, and it's another for VP, and now a killing... I'll just back away to that, it'll be A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Solo way up top, he's just wandering in behind that tower. It looks like him and Pasha went for a dive, and Pasha now going to get clipped by a stray Thunderstorm. Strike. This might be a freebie for DDC. It's going to be close and it will find the kill before he can make it to the shrine. They get punished this time for trying to pressure the Dragon Knight. All right, he's back. This is yesterday, right? The assassin. He's yep. in there. Finds one. Number one DDC disruptor fan right here, pal. Yeah, you got him. And right, Roger steals that boundary and down bottom. Will he pay for it with his life is the question, though. It's going to be long close. Deep he's got a lot of stick charges, so might have the opportunity oh, to he heal. He's juking a jive. Dodges the stomp, and now Ramses come in. They could turn this the other way. Yang caught by the ensnare. Right clicks from Ramses, but still not really hitting too hard. But the waveform onto Fade. He uses his stick. Not enough to survive, and VP get enough. And able to work on some Dire Ancients. So... Definitely not a win in the mid lane, but it's not too bad for BGJ Thunder. They will have that opportunity to group up pretty soon, as it looks like they are starting to rotate onto Ramses with the smoke. Yeah, I mean, the fact that they haven't like lost any damage on mid whatsoever from this DP, who's essentially just been living here, it's definitely a good sign for them if they can get Ramses, which Whoa. they do with ease. I okay. mean, they got the and then you have to pop the DK ulti for it, though. You know, it was already so weak, so true. I, I don't know if they're necessarily like super happy with this. Well, now Fade possibly in some trouble. He gets off the Echo Stomp, but does very little as no one actually commits the Exorcism. In the mid lane, Solo also in a little bit of trouble here. Yeah, no one's going to rotate in. He wants DDC. Big damage there. It ends up being a double for no one's death. I think Yang would be good. Depends on terms of their vision there. Looks like they, yep, they're going to wrap past Fade. They know their target. Well, gets scouted out by the Elder Titan. Stomp connects on just the Lion, but still able to get off the Hex. Pasha throwing in the Impetus, and there's the finger to finish him off. Static Storm, Kinetic Field from DDC. Oh, uses the Not enough. the Morph! Oh my, the Morphling able to pull it back, and DDC in huge trouble. The right clicks will finish him off, and it ends up being two more for Virtus Pro. Ah, uh, some towers, maybe fighting alongside this terror. Oh, sleep set up on the freeze in the bottom lane here. All right, Song of the Siren from Roger, turns it back the other way, follow-up stun from Roger, and oh look, it's no one with another exorcism. So Terra Blade in some hurt, they're going to hex him down, no chance for a Sunder, perfectly executed gank by Virtus Pro. Yeah. Top and lane, top. Ramses, his TP actually interrupted, he's going to try to make the retreat, waveform is up, but he's disarmed, waveform the other way, will stop 
The Pug to Blast, but DK will finish him off. Meanwhile, down bottom now. Fade being dove in the tree line. No one still with the exorcism on. Easy damage, easy kill. Against me, so fine light for him. And I love the way they're playing this Lion early, too. Like, uh -oh. mid-game, not as good, but this, like, there's so much time that he just locks him down and creates no opportunity for the Sunder to come out. Oh, my freeze. This could be back-to-back -back deaths. Another Hex, but this time the Sunder's there. He gets it off onto Pasha. It's a full reset. They've killed Roger, and the glimpse into Pasha. It's going to be a turn the other way, or is it? Reinforcements have arrived. DDC gets brought down as Solo and no one join the party. Not over yet, though. Enchantress finished off by Pugna. This Yang is pretty farmed. VP might need to retreat now that they're running low on resources. Elder Titan also coming into the fray. Gets a stomp onto Solo, sets it up for freeze. So a sign of life for Vici. We should finish off the Terror Blade, but... Oh, those low HP Sunders, Trent, have to be so satisfying. Could think about a Shadow Blade turn here. Yep, they're gonna go right in onto the Enchantress, and that is the reveal of the Shadow Blade. Exactly how you want to do it. Solo drops the finger, might be able to bring down the TB, and they do. It's one for one as Roger jumps in and snare onto the DK. Solo getting very low with the range drops. drops. Actually keep him alive as he moves into fog. No one now pressing forward. Yang on the run gets the kill, but pays with his own life. Got his treads, Aquila, as well as Drum of Endurance. Pretty good value items with easy buildup, but. Pretty underwhelming. Mid lane, Pasha initiated on by Silar as he just walks up with the Shadow Blade Dragon Tail rotation. Yeah, very common pickup these days on the hero as well for that Got very him. reason. Solo in some trouble, drops the Hex stun, TP out. It's going to be close and he makes it. Nice. Great heads up play. Now back to the mid lane. No one in a lot of trouble. The Earth Splitter will connect. He's low on HP, but Song of the Siren from Roger does break things up. Ramsey's looking for an opportunity to find a kill. Silence on two. No one is not afraid at all. The waveform across. They'll get the Pugna and now fade in a lot of trouble. Echo stop. Yule Scepter interrupts it, and now they should have the damage with a Crypt Swarm. It's a twofer in the mid lane. Under Positioning like they oh, want to go Roger. tier two for tier two. Roger with the Song of the Siren. He's going to set it up for the TPs coming to the Shrine. Ramses is already here, and it looks like DK will be the target of choice. They pop a dust, but on the backside, Solo almost going down to the Pugna. He does get a, end up getting finished off by Freeze, but they trade for Silar, and now the real fight breaks out. Oh, Static, Static Storm. Storm, Kinetic Field, connects on three. Very low health heroes, but they're all still alive. No one able to dodge the Nether Blast as Yang's on the run, and he may have committed too deep here. Does not have any kind of mobility tool except the brown boots. And there it is as Ramses will finish him off with a stray at his BKB. Still going to be waiting there with the 10 seconds. Terrorblade actually switching up his build, opting not to commit for the Scotty, but instead going for the Dragon Lance. And oh my, there was a Terrorblade there, but he gets destroyed in the, the mid lane. The plays weren't made. Oh gosh, that is brutal. Now the Song of the Siren set up onto three. Will the follow up be there? Silence connects on at least two. Dragon Knight giving it to be the first to fall. And now the follow up from Virtus Pro. Again, the stomp interrupted by the Yule Scepter. And Fade will get chased down, stunned up by the Adaptive, and oh, sets up Solo's a triple going. for Ramses. Solo is hungry for more. Blink Dagger on cooldown. And DDC will make it straight away, and VP will not delay trying to secure a lane of barracks. Two heroes down without buyback. DK does have his, but without Elder Dragon form, doesn't really feel like a great use of his income. They are going to let the tier 3 fall, and now the exposed barracks will be turned to rumble. Melee first, and ranged second. Virtus Pro will now sound the retreat. You can hear the horn. Jungle push the side lanes. Okay, we're popping DK LT. We're going in. Join his team once the fight breaks out. Silar, yeah, Shadow Blade in the front lanes could go in on the no one. There's the follow up, the decrep the first damage. Can they actually kill this Death Prophet? No! The BKB from no one. They're going to turn the other way. Song of the Siren does reset. Now Decrep on the Lion, but no one is going in deep. No holds barred. He has no fears as they find two. The DK falls third, and now this Tier 2 tower is the next target. Oh that was basically God. the dream initiation, and still no one does They're still fall. going. They're not so done. The face, the They've hammer. got Yang. It's a triple kill. There's only one defender. It's the Raid Boss. It's a Terror Blade. He's dead. Silence will lock him down, and we could be moments from a GG. There's it. VP takes game two in stunning fashion. That was a bold push from Virtus Pro. Look what they were doing. Think about that. They had no sentry down. They didn't even care. The Dragonite walked.